my precious. <laughs> like, that's that's the kind of voice I would imagine this creepy little smiley face thing here that we built in a past episode. That's just what I imagine it would sound like. It just looks kind of creepy. It doesn't even look all that all that wonderful. It's just kind of kind of scary looking. I don't know. <laughs> uh, but that has absolutely nothing to do with today's video topic. That Hello. Hello. Okay, uh, <laughs> so today's video, <laughs> unlike that little smiley face over there, is actually going to be about some more of the features that we will be seeing in likely the next large update for Minecraft on the console, as you can see from the title. And as I said in my video, or I think two videos ago, we were talking about how I thought we were going to be seeing 1.8 features in the next update for Minecraft on the console. And so today I figured it was only appropriate that we would start taking a look at what some of those features are, just so that you guys are properly prepared for what the features will be when they are released in the next update. So originally when we were taking a look at the 1.7 features, for those of you guys who remember that video, we were actually taking a look at the new kinds of wood and trees that they will be adding in, and that included the acacia wood and the dark oak wood. And you can see here that in 1.7 we also got the release of stairs, half slabs, as well as you know the normal plank blocks that come with both of these kinds of woods. However, what we didn't get with this was doors, fences, and fence gates, and that was all released in 1.8. Now there's something super super cool about this that I'm going to talk about in just a moment, but first I'd like to show you guys the crafting recipe and how you can get these in your world when it is released. So you can see here if I go ahead and I take this like so, like so, you can see now I can actually get a dark oak fence, as well as if I do it like show, I can also get, oop, wrong way, we got to swap these. There we go, and take these out. See, I don't play Minecraft on the PC enough to know these crafting recipes. There we are. And so now you can see we got a dark oak fence gate. And so now if I were to place these down, you can see obviously now I can make my fences out of whatever color of wood I would like to. And it really isn't a huge deal, um, you know, when you want to, you know, fence in your stuff. However, what's really, really cool about this is not so much the fact that they added in different color fence posts for the two new kinds of wood. But, whoop, kind of lag there. But it's actually the fact that they added in fence posts for every kind of wood. So you can see up here I have gone ahead and created a little area where we can see that there are um, some more fence gates and I probably should have put some animals in here just to really, uh, you know, oop, that's probably not a good one to pick, huh? Uh, there we are. So if I just go ahead and I pop these in here, you can see kind of how maybe it would look on your world. Just like that. And you can see that obviously in, in addition to, you know, the acacia wood and the dark oak wood, we also got the release of fences and fence gates for jungle wood, which is this guy right here, and birch wood. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, we have new fence gates, we have new fences, we have new stairs, and we have half slabs and planks. The only thing we're really missing here is the addition of new doors. And that's right, 4D Studios and uh, Mojang over on the console had us covered there as well. So we come in here to the crafting table. You can see that if we go ahead and we put our stuff in a shape like that, you can see I actually can pull out myself an acacia door. And it has a completely, completely, completely different design to any kind of door we've ever seen on Minecraft prior to 1.8 on the PC anyway, and you can see it's kind of got this see-through little area, and you can really now pick what kind of door you want that caters to, you know, the kind of house or building that you're building. And so obviously by me saying that, you're probably thinking, oh, well, there must be other doors for uh, the other types of wood too, right? And you are 100% correct. Wow, you guys are smart. And you guys can see over here that I have gone ahead and crafted all of the different door styles that you can now craft from the different kinds of wood. You can see here we have the standard door here with just the normal planks of wood. We have the obvious iron door here. This here is spruce wood, and you can see here that this one kind of has like a, almost like a prison or maybe a castle type of feel to it, like a medieval feel. This one here looks like something you would maybe have on a modern house, a nice looking house. Same with this one here with this kind of see-through door. I kind of like the see-through doors, how you can see through your door, you know, before you open it more so than just, uh, you know, the original door with these annoying little things that, like, block your vision. But this one you can see clear through, and if you had to, like, look out a window or something, this would probably be a good one for that. Um, obviously, you have the jungle wood, or the acacia wood here door, rather, which is, uh, you know, this kind of three slots, uh, top and bottom. And then the dark oak wood door here, which again, kind of looks like a modern house type of door. And so with these new types of wood, as well as the new doors and crafting materials and recipes that you can make out of them, it really just opens up a whole new avenue of building types that you can actually create in your world. Like I said, all of these different doors can be used in a whole bunch of different applications to create some really kind of cool effects on your houses and buildings, as well as you can now, you know, accent your yard work and your animal cages with the same color of wood or different colors of wood if you feel like that would look good. Like obviously you can uh, you can just swap out a couple of these for different colors. You can really create kind of a, a weird little pattern. There's just all kinds of different things that you can do with this. And I think that them, by them adding this in in 1.8, we will 
likely be seeing it in the next big update for Minecraft on the console, and I'm super, super excited to see what people do with these. But I think as far as the wood goes, that is about all of the things that were added in 1.8. Like I said, I do try to keep these videos short and informative, so I don't want to waste too much of your time talking about anything else. There will be more features that we will likely be seeing in the next big update, and I'll be sure to be talking about those later on in the future. So make sure you guys, if you guys want to see those, you guys subscribe and you guys drop me a like down below because it really, really does help me out to know that you guys do like these videos and you guys want to see some more. And I really do appreciate every single one of you guys for watching. And now the smiley face says goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel creepy doing that. I feel like some kind of creep in a minivan or something. I don't know. Um, thank you guys. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Goodbye. Goodbye. Peace.